Hello everyone, um, this is just a quick tutorial on how to install Cyberfox web browser. As you can see, I've already downloaded the web browser, which is available at apexstudios.com or sourceforge.net. Um, this quick tutorial will show you how to install web browser on your computer. Double click the exe application and accept yes on the user prompt click next accept the user license agreement next uh, this is the default directory that cyberfox will install to which is c program files which is because it's a 64 bit application you can change this you can install to any directory click next if you already have the runtime installed unclick install runtime otherwise it will prompt for a restart if the runtime is in use by the system otherwise you can just install the runtime. Next, you can disregard this uh, select start menu folder as it's been overridden in the options section of the installer which is this is the options section. You can click this to create desktop icon you can click this to install the start menu shortcuts and icons if you'd like to use the Cyberfox updater you can click install and this bottom one here is if you'd prefer the default home page over the customized one you just click that to install next just check over the current items that you've selected everything's correct then click install we'll now install Cyberfox web browser you have the options here to set as default web browser and launch Cyberfox. It will remember these settings for next upgrade or next install. Um, if you have other browsers like Internet Explorer, Chrome, Opera, Safari, it usually detects them and uh, the import wizard is run. Otherwise, don't select anything. Click next and Cyberfox web browser is now installed. Now it's displaying the first run page which tells you whether the browser is up to date, some information about the browser like new features, functions, bug fixes, um, official release notes from Mozilla, and well, this one here is showing you critical security fixes and that's the customized browser alright I hope you uh, find this tutorial helpful um, I'll just move on to the next tutorial which is how to install the web browser if you've got custom profile fields set up which is if you're running multiple profiles, how not to override the shortcuts.